here is my Arduino based no here's Dr. Bleep's Arduino based Nebula phone put on the Arduino it was origin the Arduino was going to be is used as a programmer in the real project in the project that he made but I decided if it's Arduino compatible why not use the Arduino so I decided to build one and this is the outcome there are three potentiometers there is the arpeggio pot potentiometer there is the low frequency oscillator potentiometer and there's the waveform potentiometer arpeggio can has a sequencer built in as you heard before so you can record your own sequences up to 32 beats the LFO just basically adds effects to it The waveform pot controls how it sounds like, so the type of wave that it's being outputted on. Noise, triangular wave, square wave, weird wave, vibrating wave. Weird sounding wave, tingly wave, and all the and just a lot of different waves. Now, Here is the TLC2272 op amp. The article called for TLC2262, but I I couldn't find that, so I used the TLC2272. Uh, ARP LED. It's in just an LED that's on pin 13 to show you basically what, how the sort of, it's sort of like an indicator LED. This little black thing right here is an LED and photocell assembly used used in many audio cell projects audio projects it has a photocell opposed to a tr photo transistor inside and works like an op opto isolator and with a lot of guitar effect projects and projects such as this it works very nicely the glide button this shift button some capacitors resistors or capacitors headers and wires then there's these copper pads and the stylus
Now, I'm going to record my own sequence. LED is flickering, although it's hard to see. It should be flickering. I press the shift button, light comes on, and now it's time to record. And there's hyper noise, which is another one. You hold the shift button, and then you touch the reset pin on the Arduino or on the AVR chip if you're using a, re a, ne a Nebula phone. Hold it. You should hear noise. And that's about it.